Using a 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Remove the wheel and set it aside. On our rear ladder link, it's gonna come up into here and there's a nut on the inside, which is a 21 millimeter, and it goes through the other side to a 21 millimeter bolt head. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt. All right, we're gonna put our socket and ratchet up on the nut side. Put our wrench over here. Let's see if we can go ahead and loosen that nut. Go ahead and remove that nut. Using our 21 millimeter deep socket, we're gonna go and remove this nut here. And we're gonna use our 21 millimeter wrench on this side here and hold the bolt. I wanna go ahead and tap this bolt through a little bit. Remove this washer. And I'm gonna use a punch to work this bolt in a little bit more. Go ahead and drop that link down. Now with the other end of that link loose, we can go ahead and shake that around and work our bolt out. Now our bolt head is hitting our spare tire well right here. Now with your vehicle supported on your jack stand, you wanna go ahead and put your jack underneath the center of your cross member here. And what we're gonna do is just apply a little bit of pressure. We don't wanna lift the vehicle off of the jacks or off of your jack stands. Now let's go ahead and loosen the two bolts right on your cradle here and we're gonna lower this down a little bit. Using an 18 millimeter deep socket. I'm gonna go ahead and lower our jack here, allowing this cradle to come down a little bit. All right, we have some play here. Let's go ahead and try and get that bolt out. Now, we're gonna hold on to the link because once this bolt comes out, that link is gonna come crashing out. We're also going to grab the sway bar here, pull down and pull that bolt at the same time. Get the bolt out. Let's go ahead and remove that link. Now you want to go ahead and match up the old link to the new one. And you can see that we're offset here. As far as the length goes, we're off a good solid inch at the, at the other end. I want to go ahead and adjust this here. That way there, when we install it, we're going to have a preliminary setting for alignment. Once you get this all installed, you do want to go ahead and bring your vehicle down and get the alignment performed so you don't end up with premature tire wear or any other drivability issues. What we can do is simply go ahead, start unthreading the rod here. At this point here, we have our link pretty much lined up. I was able to use a, the original bolt as a guide here to lock these two together and then just measure up the other end. And we're pretty much almost mirrored to the original unit. So we're gonna go ahead and thread down our locking nuts here, our jam nuts. 
and then we'll go ahead and snug those into place. You want to go ahead and just use your wrenches to go ahead and tighten these gem nuts down, and then we'll go ahead and get that installed. Let's go ahead and feed your link up and in. And we went ahead and cleaned up the threads on our bolt. We put a little bit of ANC's compound on there. Get that lined up. We're gonna push on that bolt, pull down on that sway bar, and wiggle this into place. And we got our bolt in. I'm just gonna put our nut on the inside here. And just get that started a couple threads. At this point here, we can go ahead and use our jack and lift our rear cradle up into place. Let's go ahead and tighten down these bolts. Sure these bolts are pretty tight. Then we can go ahead and lower our jack and we'll get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and lift our link up into place. Push our bolt through and use our mallet here to pop that bolt in. Install our washer and we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of anti seize compound. And then we're going to go ahead and get that nut started. Let's go ahead and put our wrench on the bolt side. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that nut down. I want to make sure that this is good and tight. All right, let's go ahead and tighten down this bolt and nut here. Sure this bolt is good and tight. Let's go ahead and torque down our nut here. I have to put our wrench on this side. Let's go ahead and torque down this nut and bolt. Snug down our jam nuts here. It's good to install your wheel. Go ahead and get your lug nuts installed by hand, and then we'll go ahead and snug them all down. Torque your lug nuts down to 100 foot-pounds. 